Hello everybody. This is episode 2 of my Star Maid series on the Open Source the World server. Right now, I'm the only one on because everyone's off playing something else at the moment. Uh, right now we're on update point zero nine three seven six update seven seven is out and I'm just going to refer to them by the last two numbers from now on maybe last three because it's easier so the update in three seven six was the economy was reactivated to being a variable depending on the stock and that the trading guild when they fly by will stock now what that means for us is, since Alava is low on stock, most of our prices have tripled. So yeah, the holes were 50, no they're 170. The Plex door was 100, no well, all this was 100, and yeah. So that's one change. The graphics core was updated, which in 7.7 it was reverted back so I don't know how good it'll be so I'm just gonna see how well it is I'm hasn't really helped me at all that much right now we'll see when I get back to my home planet ow son the blueprint system which you can get to through the catalog was updated so the server can limit the number of slots you have available for ships. Oh. Yeah, this one's going to be dis uh, deleted. Because this one has the faction core where the scythe, just straight up scythe, doesn't have one. It's one of our custom ones and that there's a server side check for say someone decided to make a blueprint then edit it so edit the file so it was like no price it'll announce it on this version on 377 it will go and de decide where to kick ban or just delete it depending on what the admin sets which Honestly, I think Atlas will probably just set it to delete it because we're we're all good guys on here. And the reason I'm in build mode and zoomed out is whitening of the white block. Because before it looked just slightly off gray. Now it's so white. If I get on the sun side, it's just solid. Eh, sun. I would like to show you my new home because you have to actually have a home to build a damn it there should be a quick way to waypoint okay 10 3 5 10 comma 3 comma 5 Oh, 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 there's you are. Alright, so you actually need to have a home base of some kind. Either a satellite or just throw a build block out. But build blocks cost for purchasing the block and just throwing it into space. So, it's best to place it on a planet and then claim the planet as yours. Which is what I've done. Vash is out here as well so and he's done the same with the purple planet whereas I have picked a nice green planet and you know what this is gonna take a while so I'll cut till I'm closer but to fly straight into a uh, space station yeah, since I'm here, I'll show this to you guys. My FPS is 
dropping like a rock. Actually, now that I think about it, I can't even see the actual in-game FPS. This be a space station. No docking modules are all that much on here. Really, these are good for resources. So I'm going to actually make a note of this. So I can come back and collect it. Or we'll be back in a little bit. There. 1146. Okay, so we're on the last sector away. This is my planet. Just got a string of numbers for his name since it's a natural spawn. But I wonder if I'm going to come up from the underside this time. I never know. Nope, nope, I'm coming in from above. Alright, so there's a lot of lava caves on this, so I'm going to be using lava engines on almost everything. And then use the ice blue lighting. It's almost like an Epic Hills world from Minecraft. <laughs> Nope. I heard paper. Fallen paper! Scaring the crap out of me! Alright, so... There it is. So, this is where I've set up my base. Let's... Get down here. And snap. I said snap. Oh shit, oh shit. <sighs> Fine, crash. At least I won't have trouble lifting off next time. At least stick your end off. Oh shit. Okay, yeah. If you're go- whoa. Yeah, I've got like 5 FPS and lava cave. Lava can kill you. Obviously. Right, so if you're going to build on a planet, always have something to dock to. I've learned this lesson the hard way. This is a docking for a turret, get the blue ones for ships, because if I dock this, or dock my ship onto this, the bottom layer below the core clips the block, and then it's a pain in the ass to lift off. So, here, here's my factory, my power core, which is just a generic 3x3. Three three. I could probably make it a little better, but I'm not really caring at the moment. Oop. Lights are down there just so I could see. Little bit of organized storage, and this is everything that. Oop. <laughs> this is everything that makes this my world. Well, all I had to do was place the building block, place the faction module, and activate it. Actually, here. Building block. I can literally treat this uh, whole planet like a spaceship in building. Aha, see? Yeah. That, that's the block my ship can fit in, but it clips this bottom layer and then boom. I just have too much trouble. But yeah, there's no f fly mode. <laughs> for uh, for planets, <laughs> though, I would love to attempt it. Actually, I wonder if you put a ship core on it. 
not trying, not trying, not trying. The faction module, which you just activate, then you enter your faction signature, which automatically goes in, and then you hit make faction home. And well, you only need the faction signature to make it yours, but if you have a faction, just you, or a faction of your own, and it doesn't have a home, faction homes are protected and anything docks to faction homes. Like right now my ship can get blown to hell up by pirates and some or whoever but since I usually had it docked on there it's safe. And I assume the same for Vash's planet that I spotted. And this respawn point. Plex Undethinator. So if I do die I'll at least be back home. So these are the three primary blocks. A build block, faction module, and undethinator to make a place your home. And even the storage modules here are safe from people poking in them. This one is plants. This one is stuff I've actually uh, processed already using the machines behind me. This is natural blocks, terrain blocks. These are hulls and lights. These are ship parts, which I'm actually going to take my salvage cans back out because if you were paying attention to my ship, I did modify it slightly so I could use the salvage cannons. In fact, I had the salvage cannons on top of it for a little bit. Actually, I think I have enough to actually build a new ship. And yeah, these are my raw ores that I haven't processed yet because everything processes in groups of fives. And the plextanium is useful for two things. So I can either cheaply make holes with it or I could use it to process into something else. Alright, first Let's, uh, oh, paper again. It, it, it's hot here, the fan's on, it's blowing things all over the place, so. Nothing in here, so I'm going to recollect you. And relay out my power and factory. Bug. Um. I feel I need to fix this right now. Alright, let's see if that will disconnect and erase it. Yes. Okay. So that works. So, I'm going to clear out some space for building a nice power core. So, see you in a minute. Alright, so I've cleared out the area for a 5x5 five five power core that most of us have been using. This is actually going to be my first time building it. I'm holding down control to stay in advanced build mode so I can just click it through. I do not remember who first designed this. I know it wasn't one of us. And that there have been jokes about it being a power swastika. Ah, damn it. I didn't click there. Click there. Damn it again. So I'm actually, I don't need to, I'm debating if I should or not actually now. Nah, I'll put shields on because I'm actually curious as to how much power, how much power this will actually generate. Oh. 
I'm going to leave the center vacant right now simply because I th think if I do, I could actually put another core in there. I know there's supposed to be a core in there. Alright, the next layer is in the corners like this. So you're extending. Damn it! Da, da. Eh. Not what I wanted to do. Okay. So it extends the wrong way. Alright, so it's supposed to be this side, not the other side. Now, since it's extending this way. Oh, hold on. Now I'm going to throw the shields at the edges that get covered. And it's supposed to go like this. Cover the two shields and then the one at the corner. Yeah, and for the middle you just fill it up like this. So, bottom level, middle, middle level. Dude, dude, damn it, don't. Ah! Next layer continues the loop around. I'm just filling up the excess now. Alright, so we've got a nice power slash shield core going. Still don't get why they were saying it's a swastika. But, oh well. It looks nice. I say it's more of a whirlwind. Or a spiral. So next, I need to be putting my power, or my factory blocks back down. So I don't need my shields. Lights would still be nice. Keep my rocks. Need factory input. Factory input. The enhancers. My mineral separator, separator, my particle press. Oh look, I got plexitanium. And I have one more. Where the hell is my Extra module. SD cockpit ship core. Oh crap! I don't have my schematine advanced anymore. Damn it! It must have been the block eating bug. I've noticed blocks disappearing as I'm doing large builds. Like it forgets I'm supposed to have it. I'm going to relog and hope I have it. Otherwise, yeah, this may not be finishable right now and I may have to switch over to uh, salvaging. So, all right, so I definitely don't have my schematine. All right, so here we are out at one of the asteroids. I was going to head back to that space station and start salvaging that, but I'm gonna test out on a asteroid or two first. My ship is down there. I'm not going to add the salvage beams back to it. I'm actually just gonna start a new ship. So X for a core. I'm gonna call it just salvage ship. Or salvager. That works. Oh. 
an entity with that name already exists. So. There. Sunny Salvager. Now for my core. Now the first thing I want to do is position things. I want them to be in the style of a blade but coming out from underneath. So, there. So, this is the level the lasers will be on. With this layout, I'm going to set it up so these are all the outputs. The ones at the very front. The amount of power I have in it right now is... Or... amount I can actually do is... Eh, a quarter. I can do better. Alright, so point two one's going to be the best I'm gonna get. And oh, team speaks unmuted. Do 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 do. If there was a shop in range, I'd throw one more on the back just to use these all up, but I can't, so you go there. Next, I'm going to throw a camera right there, so I don't need the cameras anymore. I'm debating weapons computer right now, honestly, just for defense. Yeah. So I'm going to throw some lasers in the middle of this.
All right, so I have a bank of lasers on now. So, and I moved my cockpit. Need to place the faction controller as well. And I'll need the engines. Then I'm going to cover the engines. And I'm going to obviously need power. Faction module can go there. What was that? Oh shit, there's pirates in the area. How close are they? Alright, so if they start coming closer, I'll concern myself with them, but for now, I won't. One awesome thing about thrusters is, they don't care where they are. Since I have a ton of actual power cores, I'm going to make a few non-optimized ones to fill up these gaps. Did I just laser? Oh shit. Don't have the laser system on fuck. Get me to the other ship. My shields are down, my shields are down. Here. This is the whole point of having that. So get me to the other ship so that one can actually maneuver. Shit. this direction. Um, my house. I thought I threw the weapons computer on here. Okay, screw this. But they damaged my ship. This is why you don't build ships in the middle of space. Where's my ship? Where's my ship? Good enough. Yeah, I'm going to get shot because I can't find my ship. Stop shooting it. So. Where are you at? This is actually going to be my first dogfight. Freaking what are you two? I'm 
gonna. Ow. Of course he's in the sun. Go home. Uh, I'm just freaking going home. Come attack my planet. I'll dock. Oh shit, I'm already in atmosphere. See what I mean about coming up from underneath? I'm gonna crash land. No, I don't wanna crash. <laughs> 